hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hi welcome my name is raya and thank you so much for tuning in today and in today's video i have got a swimwear slash cover up haul so i've bought a few things for my holiday i don't know whether to do this as part one or part well just part one because i have ordered some more stuff which hasn't arrived yet um but i am waiting for those so anyways i haven't washed my hair i'm just gonna leave it like this um because this is what i'm gonna look like probably on the beach anyways sans makeup of course so without further ado let's get into it the first thing that i want to show you is this uh bikini now this bikini is from pretty little thing i've also got it in black now i sized down on the bottoms because i picked up a 12 before and they felt a little bit diapery at the back there was a lot of fabric and then um and then on the side, I've gone down to a 10 with this. It feels like it digs in a little. It just feels like it digs in just a little. But I've been literally eating salad all week apart from last night. And this morning where I just had leftover pizza. Um, so anyways, this is really a flattering because normal, like I've ordered a few one pieces as well. But if you are bigger chested, this doesn't make your boobs look overly big. And it does hold you into place. Obviously, I wouldn't advise you wearing this if you are going to be like, I don't know, diving or like seriously snorkeling. Because my boobs might just fly out. But if it's just like mooching around, having a little paddle at all in the water, then I think this will be fine. This is the back. I think I might still have some labels on it. But <laughs> so I'm going to show you two things here. So this is the back bit. I really don't like the back of my thighs, so I'm just not um, showing you that. Um, but this blouse here, it opens all the way. So you know sometimes it's like really hot when you're on holiday, and even like a little bit of cover up will make you hot. You can get some air from like the back here because it's buttoned all the way down. So I'm definitely going to keep this because I just got some swimsuits. Um, I got this in a white as well because it's always great to get. Hey, Tom. Hey, this is the same colour as Thomas. Look, same colour. What do you think, Tom? You like it? You like it? So, anyways, this really holds you in. This doesn't have any control in the swimwear, but it just feels like it holds you in with this whole detailing here. So, I do really like this. I feel really weird showing this on camera, but I love the cover up as well. I just think the cover, um, the length of it, you're not going to wear it ever again. I can wear over dresses. I picked it up in a white, but the white is not going to go with this bikini. This bikini is, it says cream, but it's more on like a yellowy cream scale, not a neutral cream, if you know what I mean. <gasps> that rhymes! Um, <laughs> did not mean that. Anyways, I'm gonna try on something else and obviously I'm gonna rewear this cover up. And I think I'm just gonna take off the label, but this is the back. Oh my god. So this is the back bit. It does rise up a little bit, but like it's a little bit cheeky, okay? Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm showing you guys this properly. Look, there you go. It is a little bit cheeky, so it comes up to here and here. And obviously with me, with my butt, everything just so, you know, it's one of those things where cheeks, sun's out, bum's out situation. Now this is the cover. I've just put my lights on at the back and now it just looks a bit kind of weird. But anyways, I'm gonna leave it. Um, this is the uh, sheer white one. This is the back. Now this is what I mean. You can have it open and it can just like show you. Um, like, this is a swimsuit from uh, Zara. Oh my God, Tom just follows me around. I love this cat, honestly the best cat <laughs> love this so anyways uh this is the one from zara now it does have a little crocodile thing here I'm not sure i love what i did like about it that was kind of like asymmetric but you've got a bit more support because i've worn an asymmetric um swimsuit before and like my boob just kept on coming out of it and it didn't work so this is very much of a i feel like it's like a classic hollywood style with it tied up at the back i not show too much back that i like about it um so yeah if you want to look a bit more kind of classier and you want to be you've got a little bit of va va voom my boobs don't fully fit they do have removable pads here but obviously when it's cold a little nip might come and show but i would have preferred it if this was a little higher but it is very much classic 
Um, it is a high leg bikini, don't get me wrong, but if this bit was a little bit more kind of... Um, so this next swimsuit is from Sheer. So I've just like come out of the shower and washed my hair, but I don't think I like this at all. I don't know if it's meant to go over, but I don't love this. Um, now with this swimsuit, you can pull that up and it can become a higher leg and then you can tie it up. Um, but this is the butt bit of it. Um, but when you pull this up, it does kind of so. There's a bit of that. It does give you a nice high leg though. I do like it a bit more cut like this. It's a bit more flattering. I don't like this. And this is the back bit as well. So, that's the back bit as well. So yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna wear this, so this is going back. Okay, so I now know why my black one looked a little bit weird. It's because I put the straps on on both shoulders and they all go over just the one shoulder. And I, so I put, so the other black swimsuit is pretty much the same, but I <laughs> wore it on the other side, so that's why I was a bit confused by it. But this is more of an iridescent one, if you can see. I feel like this is more kind of, if you're going to Greece, Mykonos, like Ibiza, like Europe, maybe not Italy, but you know, one of those uh, places. But I'm not sure I want this for the Maldives. I'm not loving this. I don't feel this is flattering on me at all. But it does have a bit of ruching. So if you're someone who wants a bit more kind of gather around here, then this might suit you if you are curvier. I always like to wear it over my curves. So I feel like it restricts me and doesn't do anything for me right now. So I'm going to take this off um, and show you the other swimsuit that I'm really feeling. So this just looks much better with a cover up. This looks really cool together. I feel like, look, my boob is coming out. There's a lot of boob here. I don't feel like this is safe to wear. Like, yeah, or I did get this in a small sheer and small always fits me, so it does, but obviously your boob area, you gotta be careful when it comes to swimwear. I don't know if it's just me or if other people have this problem, but for sure, these puffs will want to go somewhere. I don't know why, but my kitchen's smelling really weird. It smells like of that blue alcohol stuff you use when you cut yourself. Um, but anyways, this colour, I absolutely love. This is a Shein swimsuit. Now, it's got like two little round padding things, which are just a bit useless. It's making my boobs look down here even more. But I do like this. I think it's because I love the colour a lot more. There's a lot of side boobage going on here, a bit too much for my liking, but I'm thinking I could just wear this when I'm in my villa. Um, and, you know, I think I'll have this on as well. I wouldn't wear it if I'm going, actually tell a lie, I probably would wear it if I'm going um, on a sunset cruise, because we, we do have things included within our package. So I really love that. Um, but this is actually really flattering. This goes all the way here. Thing is, like, this is very cheeky. Like, I don't even want to show you how cheeky it is because this is my butt. I'm like, yeah, I don't think it's that appropriate to do that. But it's basically a lot of cheek. So there's a lot of cheek going on here. So I would definitely do the buttons up at the back for this. Um, but it's a very flattering swimsuit and I for one really love this. So I think this is gonna be a keeper. I did order another brown one that's a bit more kind of, it's got a line here, but I feel like that might just dig into my rolls. So I think I'll just leave it as this, like all in one. This is the side of it. This is the back of it without showing you too much um, derriere. It is basically a thong well the color and everything if you get a little bit hot you can just hold it like this and just maybe do up the buttons and just wear it like this um just as a little juiciness but really it's not the practicality of wearing it like this probably isn't a great idea but you can just throw it back over your shoulder um so anyways sorry about the hair I haven't done the hair but you know what 
my hair's gonna look like this normal on holiday, so I'm just getting in the vibes. Um, so yeah, if you are a curvier girl, this is gonna flatter you a lot, so I would recommend this swimsuit. Just be mindful, if you do want a bit more cover up, then maybe size up, but I picked this up in my usual size that I would get actually before, so I do like this. I'm just a bit mindful that a lot of cheek is on show here. Just a lot of cheek, and I think that's because where this is ruched up a lot, it pulls everything up, but I do like this. So guys, this is really not what I thought it would be when I ordered it. Um, I don't know if it's these, let me just tuck these in maybe. Maybe this is just, I don't know. Um, this is just a cover up, I think, for the Maldives, depending on obviously where you're going. I'm gonna be in a bikini most of the time, I'm gonna be on the beach, you know, the resort. So I'm gonna be probably in swimsuits all the time. But the color isn't what I thought it would be. That you can see how cheeky this is. Can you see how cheeky this is? Color is not what I thought it would be. And yeah, I'm not sure I'm in love, but it's very nice. It's something you would pick up in Zara, maybe. I feel very bohemian in this. This is like the length of it. Goes right down to my tippy toes. Not my tippy toes, my ankles, sorry. Um Okay, so I ordered this dress just to like, just for the hell of it. And oh my stars, I was putting this on. This feels, not only does this feel really nice, but it's so slinky dinky and it's so flattering. And I thought I was putting this on, I was like, this dress is so sweet. And normally I would never describe a dress as sweet because, you know, it's a dress. But it's like the sweetest thing ever. It does have a huge slit, so this is strictly like obviously the resort that I'm going to. There's gonna be like maybe when I'm going to do a, like a bit of shisha and hang out on the lounge thing, although I've got to be careful. <laughs> um, but yeah, you'd be able to see your bikini bottoms like properly through here. So I'd probably wear this as a dress. I've just got it on like some nude. Um, uh, underwear here and I've got some stick-ons because you can see my nips if you are if your nips are probably lighter then you might not see it but I would just recommend a cover-up I feel very Marilyn Monroe in this so it does cover up a bit of the back fat Betty I've got going on here and this is very flattering as you know you can see my butt here so like one, I wouldn't wear this, maybe, maybe I don't think I'd wear this to dinner. I think I'd literally just wear it to do a bit of shisha on the balcony thing. Just, not balcony, at a terrace thing. I wouldn't go into a restaurant, I don't think, with this. I mean, I potentially could, but this is more evening. The fabric's really nice. I love all of this. It's like a velvety fabric here. So yeah, this dress is very flattering. I was like, for a second, I was like, am I really going to feel comfortable wearing this though? But you know what? When you're on holiday, anything goes. And I feel like this goes well. I like it, the fact that I can't wear short things. I can, but I don't like to because I don't like my thighs. So if you're like me and, you know, you don't love your upper thigh area, something with a slit is just, just really flattering. And then you don't get, like, so much chub rub or anything like that. Um... Do you like the red, by the way? I think this really goes with the baby blue. And this is so my colour. Now this, the other dress was more of like a cover-up dress. It's more of a dress, I would say. And it's so flattering at the back, can you believe? Can you believe? It's got some stretchiness to it as well. It doesn't have any slits, so in a way I prefer that. And it's just really flattering with the ruching and everything. Um, I love this so much. This is definitely going to be a dress that I'm going to be wearing to dinner. I just knew this colour was going to be everything. And I think I'm going to do this colour on my nails when I go away. And I don't realise that it goes really well with the blue as well. It's very obviously contrast, but it goes so well. So definitely going to keep this and wear it. Um, because it will look fine with flip-flops as well. Because it is like a barefoot resort too. So where I'm going, so obviously it depends where you're going, but you can wear this, I've got this with a pair of leather sandals at the moment. They kind of squeak, they prefer like squeaky. But anyways, love these. So anyways, yeah, small, 
um, is what I've got for this. So whatever size you wear, Shein, it's true to size. There is stretch in this fabric, which is what I love the most. Um, so, yeah. So guys, so guys, that is it from me for today. Sorry, it's really bright out there. Like one eye is looking smaller than the other because I'm like squinting. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you will like next week's video as well because there is more stuff coming that I think I might put like holiday outfits together because that will help me and hopefully help you if you're going away too on what to pack. So anyways, thank you and I will see you in my next video.